Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And you're probably sitting here wondering why we're staring at a boot. Well, <laughs> this kind of refers back to the video maybe a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, whenever I basically got put in the hospital for a fall. So, I just had my 10 day checkup. And, yeah, I'm pretty much rocking this thing now. Which, it feels a lot better now that they took the cast off and put this on yesterday. So, yeah, you can kind of see it's about the whole length of my foreleg here. And it's got a pretty neat feature to it. You see, it's got like a little, looks like a tit. <laughs> it's like an air pump. And then you got a knob right here. So, I'm going to take it off, the boot that is. And I'll show it to you a little bit here. I don't know how good I can do this one-handed taking off the boot that is so and if you didn't see the first video I basically fell on a patch of ice about two weeks ago and broke my ankle in two places so it pretty much resulted in a surgery of officially seven screws and a plate to hold it all in and they removed like 26 stitches they did like two incisions Kind of velcros the toes in there. All right, I'm not allowed to put weight on this for another month, but what we got here is the pump, and this is like your release valve. And oh, sorry about that. Right in here are, are like separate air chambers, that kind of go around like your heel. And you can see, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. You got, like, numbers here. Like, you got number one here, number three on the back here, and number two on this side here. Now, what's really cool about this is you put your boot on, and it might feel a little loose or a little tight, whatever. Well, what we got here is a knob. You can set to one, two, or three. And basically, this here represents the number one down here. And you're only pumping that side of it. And then, of course, you switch it to number two and pump the other side, number three, and pump the back. I mean, it's, it's actually really comfy that way. But, yeah, I, I got to give GMC props for helping me out in this whole deal, as you've seen a couple weeks ago. But we'll show you some carnage here first incision right here that was 11 staples they said that tapes gonna come off eventually maybe like five days it's got me all bruised to hell but I tell you it felt really good whenever they took all this, that casting stuff off I mean what a relief and then here's the big one that one there took 16 staples and then you can see my foot is still sw swelled up still Still feels like it, but I can move my toes. Can kind of bend it a little bit, but I'm not supposed to push it. Yeah, not exactly how I plan to spend the rest of my winter. But yeah, that was all because of a simple patch of ice. Alright, so we'll show you how it goes back on here. Got it all covered up with this special sock that they gave me at the doctor's office. And we'll grab the boot. And, yeah, the front of it, too. We need the front part also, eventually. Now, basically, this all has to come apart. And you slide your foot in here, like so. Just a little advice. If, if you ever get one of these out of an injury... Do not, and I mean do not throw it out, because your insurance company actually keeps record of what all medical equipment you got over the years. That includes crutches, too. So, by all means, do not get rid of that shit. So, moving on here. I'm not used to doing this one-handed, like I said before. But I'll have to make do. Got your little Velc Velcro thing here, you strap that up like so. And then this piece folds over those two layers. 
So we're good on the front. I hate when those kind of stick there. There we go. And then you got your little front piece. It's like your little goalie boot or whatever. I don't know. Run that over here and through that little piece. Damn, I can't do this one-handed. Okay. And then, of course, you got the other two straps. That's kind of weird. I'm holding my camera on the knee with my thumb as I'm doing this with my two hands. But shit, if it works. Who cares? Then... Apologize if I, my thumb hit the mic there. See how good I can do this here. Damn it. Alright, let me put it on the arm here. I don't know how good you're going to see. Oh, fuck it. You'll get the idea. Okay. I don't know how much of that you saw, but yeah, it's on there good and tight. Now, to do the air adjustments, we'll lower down here. And this little tit-shaped pump thing, we're set on number one. So, there's like a little hole here. You gotta put your finger over that hole for the air not to come out when you pump it. So, I can actually feel the pressure getting tighter on that part of the boot as I pump it. If I've got too much air, just kind of release the valve there. Okay, and then we switch to number two, which is over on that side, and we pump, and pump, and pump some more. Now, I feel like I need more air on this side again, so back to one. That feels all right. Okay, number three, which will be the very back right there. And that's all there is to that. And of course I got my crutches. But yeah, just an update on everything. YouTube is a channel. I gotta thank everybody for watching. 75 subscribers. I mean, no, we're not that big, but I call it pretty good. 50,000 total views. Yeah, buddy. So yeah, we, we actually have more brew reviews coming our way. I mean, this whole injury didn't stop us from brew review and WTF and Vegas Round 1. We're still, we're still putting that stuff off on the weekly, so stay tuned for all that. And GMC, I guess he's doing his whole reality show thing, so stay tuned to that also. But yeah, up until, uh, up until a couple days ago, my girlfriend pretty much looked after me on this whole injury, so I got to... I gotta more than thank her for that one. Just glad to have her. And yeah, that's the balloon and stuff she got me there. You saw in the hospital, but... Alright, so... Yeah, just a little update. Another random BS, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see you later, and stay tuned for more of our usual stuff. And hopefully no more episodes in the ER. <laughs> I must say that experience sucked, but at least I had to make a, a video about it anyway. But Alright, we'll see you later.